Hey guys, this is Jedith. This video is going to be an in-depth look at the new seasonal affix for Season 4 of Shadowlands called Shrouded. This was just put on the PTR and has gone through a few iterations just in the few hours that it's been live, but this video should go over most, if not all, of what you need to know. Hopefully Blizzard doesn't add even more to this after I post this video, but I don't think they will because this feels pretty decent as it is. So what is the affix? In the new rotation of dungeons, so Tazavesh, Mechagon, Karazhan, and the two Wad dungeons, there are Dreadlords scattered throughout the trash. Enemies and packs will have a purple aura and a debuff indicating they are shrouded. As soon as you engage the mob, it will transform into a Nathrazim Infiltrator. Some dungeons like Mechagon Junkyard will have upwards of 20 Dreadlords, whereas Workshop seem to have only about 10. So when you start a key, there will be a broker right at the entrance, He'll give you the option to choose any of the secondary stats, so crit, haste, mastery, or versatility. If you happen to not pick one or you just forgot, it will always default to versatility. Choosing one of these will give you a buff that immediately gives you a 2% buff of that stat. Every Dreadlord you kill from that point on will then give you another stack of that buff, providing you with another 2%. Initially, these Dreadlord mobs didn't seem to do much, but as the night progressed, abilities actually started to appear. A lot of their abilities are direct mimics of mechanics from the Lords of Dread encounter in Sepulchre of the first ones, which I personally think is really cool. The first ability is Vampiric Claws, which is a hard-hitting ability that heals the Dreadlord when it lands and does a lot of damage to your tank. It will also cast an ability called Nightmare Cloud, which will place a small, traveling purple cloud on the ground that will put you to sleep when you step in it, so watch your feet. It will also cast Carrion Swarm, which is a cone frontal that we've seen Dreadlords use before. Just move out of it. One of the shrouded mobs in every dungeon will surprise you and transform into a named Dreadlord called Zulgamux, which will grant you three stacks of the stat buff, meaning 6% of whichever stat you've chosen. But this guy hurts. He'll put a rather large purple swirly on the ground that you should definitely move out of. This ability is called Shadow Eruption. He'll also cast Blood Siphon, which does a fair amount of ticking damage to your entire party, and he'll slowly heal himself up. The only way to stop this is to damage through his barrier and interrupt the cast. Hypnosis Bats will also randomly spawn throughout the fight and start a channel called Hypnosis on a player. If the bat is not killed before that channel ends, the player will become unfriendly to the group, just like in the Lords of Dread encounter during the Among Us phase. Uh, this can be extremely dangerous if there's a lot of, you know, incidental AoE happening and it can often result in death for that player. So make sure you kill the bats ASAP because they cannot be stunned or CC'd. So some things to note about the affix. Shrouded mobs seem to be consistent every time you do the dungeon, meaning you can predict where they're going to be and pull accordingly. They cannot be stunned to stop their abilities. You're going to have to deal with them the hard way. There's no cheesing these. They cannot be CC'd before the pull. My group tried to throw a Hunter's Freezing Trap on one of the Shrouded mobs and then pull the rest of the surrounding pack, but the Dreadlord did break out immediately and came running at us. They do not give count. Not only do they not give count, but they essentially subtract count from whatever pack they were a part of because one of the regular enemies is now substituted for a Dreadlord. This means that routing will be a bit weird and we may have to pull a couple extra packs to compensate for the lost count. In some of the more open dungeons like Mechagon Junkyard, the play might be to run around killing Dreadlords for the first bit of the dungeon to stack up on the stat, and then going about your business. Like I said, there's upwards of 20 Dreadlords in Junkyard, so there's lots to gather. The other thing to consider is that versatility will likely be the best choice in Junkyard for one very particular reason. Remember those Zap bots that do scaling damage based on the key level? Well, they also scale with your versatility, so I'm very curious to see how that turns out in high keys. It's probably going to be pretty crazy. Speaking of versatility, I personally believe that it will be the go-to stat to choose in most cases, unless you're a spec that has a very specific synergy with another stat. Getting, you know, anywhere from 40 to 50% versatility in a key is absolutely bonkers. I was doing a permanent 60% extra damage on all of my abilities and taking roughly 30% less damage. I definitely got some BFA corruption vibes from this. And my last couple of thoughts, the named Dreadlord Zolgamux should definitely be skipped where possible, as it's probably not worth the risk or the time to kill it. I can only imagine how hard this mini boss is going to be on high fortified keys, it's definitely going to wipe a lot of groups. The other thing is, because the benefit of this affix ramps up over time as you kill more Dreadlords, you won't actually get the full effect of it until you're probably on the last boss or the last couple packs of trash in the dungeon. 
Well, yes, you can get insane stats. You'll probably just have a couple extra percent of stats for the first little bit, and it ramps up as you get towards the end of the dungeon. So what's my opinion on this? Honestly, I really like it. It seems like a very non-punishing, non-intrusive affix. It's going to result in a lot of interesting routes to incorporate skips or to gather up dreadlords before moving on in the dungeon. Uh, it's already going to be very off-putting to do those dungeons like Mechagon and not have portals to travel around through, so I'm excited to see how we all adapt to that. I do think that maybe they could add one or two more things to really round out this affix, maybe a short burst of move speed after we capture a dreadlord or something like that. Also, I just want to add I'm kind of sad that we don't actually kill the dreadlords. I was hoping demon hunters would finally get some demon souls. And there you have it guys, there is the in-depth overview of the new affix called Shrouded. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a like, sub to the YouTube channel, and let me know in the comments what you think of this affix. Are you excited to try it out? What do you think are some cool things that could happen with this? Uh, what stat are you going to be going for with your spec? Let me know in the comments, and I'll talk to you guys soon.